Welcome to Learning to Engineer. In today's video, we will understand the application of pitch of current and voltage law in this circuit. We have to find the current IS that is supplied by the current source. We can also verify our answer by using the law of power conservation. The power that is supplied by both the sources, 20 volt voltage source and the current source IS should be same as the power that is absorbed by all the resistors present in the circuit. Let us get started. Let me label this as VA and this as VB. We have three nodes here. This is our reference node or the ground node and this is the voltage at this node VA and this is the voltage at this node VB. Between VA, we have two sets of elements. One is the 14 ohm resistor and the resistor in series with the 20 volt source. In the second node, we have two resistor parts. One is the 4 ohm resistor and the other one is the 2.5 ohm in series with the current source IS. Our aim is to find the current source IS. The 20 volt source supplies 4 ampere to this. The voltage across 1.5 ohm will be 4 into 1.5. This is 6 volt. So the voltage across this is going to be 6 volt. Since the current is getting absorbed in this direction, I am marking plus here and minus here. 6 volt will be the voltage across these two terminals. Having said that this is 6 volt, and 20 volt is supplied by this. What is the net voltage at this node? The net voltage will be 20 minus 6. Or let me say in a very standard term by Kirchhoff's voltage law. If we consider this loop, 20 volt is getting supplied. Therefore, 20 minus 6 minus the voltage across this. A is the voltage across 14 ohm resistor. By KVL, 20 minus 6 minus V is 0. This implies that VA will be 14 volt. This is the direction of current absorption. So I am considering this as plus and this as minus. And the voltage between this terminal is 14 volt. By Ohm's law, the current is voltage divided by resistance. Let me mark this as, let us say, step 1. Now this is my step 2. The current through the 14 Ohm resistor is going to be the voltage across it, 14 volt, divided by 14 Ohm. The current is 1 ampere. The current that is getting into this branch is 1 ampere. If we imagine 4 ampere current is supplied to this node and 1 ampere is taken away by the 14 ohm. Therefore, 2 ohm resistor will have 3 ampere balance. 4 will be the sum of absorbed currents. 1 plus the current across 2 ohm. This implies that the current across 2 ohm will be 3 ampere. 3 ampere. 3 ampere is for flowing between the nodes VA and VB. We can understand that VA has higher potential than VB because current has the tendency to move from higher potential to a lower potential. Therefore, when the current flows from VA to VB, VA has higher potential and VB has lower potential. This 2 ohm resistor absorbs 3 ampere current. Therefore, by ohm's law, V equal to I into R. 3 into 2, 6 volt. 6 volt is getting absorbed. The current IS plus 3 ampere is entering here. Let us apply KVL and find out the voltage across 4 ohm resistor. Therefore, 14 minus 6 minus Vb equal to 0. We are going in this direction or in clockwise direction. 
This implies that VB will have 8 volt. If VB is 8 volt and the direction was considered this way, when I was taking clockwise direction, the current is getting absorbed at this end. Therefore, this is my plus terminal and this is my minus terminal. 8 volt will be the voltage across these two terminals. I know that the 4 ohm resistor absorbs 8 volt. Therefore, the current through 4 ohm is going to be 8 volt divided by 4 ohm. It is 2 ampere. The current 2 ampere is absorbed by 4 ohm resistor. 3 ampere is traveling in this direction. Therefore, what is IS? IS plus 3 ampere will amount to 2 ampere. IS is minus 1 ampere. Or in other words, the current is flowing in the downward direction at this loop. IS is considered in the opposite direction. Therefore, IS is taken as minus 1 ampere. Therefore, 1 ampere is flowing in this direction. This is 1 or IS is equal to minus 1. Both are same. So, the current is absorbed in this direction. So, plus is here, minus is here and the voltage across 2.5 ohm is 1 ampere into 2.5 this is 2.5 volt. Voltage across 2.5 is going to be the current through 2.5 ohm times the resistance. So the voltage across 2.1 into 2.5. So totally across VP we have 8 volt and 2.5 volt is the voltage across this. And what is the voltage across this? Plus is here, minus is here. So it is in this direction. By KVL, we are considering the path to be clockwise. We are starting from 8 volt. So it is 8 minus 2.5 minus, let us name it as Vx for time being. Minus Vx will be 0. The voltage across this is 5.5 volt. This current source, if we observe, we cannot say that the current is minus 1 ampere and the voltage across it is 5.5 volt or there is another way to say it. The voltage that is getting absorbed is minus 5.5 volt and the current direction can be reversed and told that IS is 1 ampere. Because this is the direction that is considered, usually for power supplying source, the plus terminal is the direction of supplying current. But for a resistor, the plus terminal will be the direction of absorbing current. In this case, the current can be told as minus 1 ampere and the voltage is 5.5 volt. So, in this circuit, we have found out the voltages across all the elements and we also know the current that is passing through all the elements. So, in that case, we will check if our answers are right using the law of power conservation. What are the elements that we have? We have a 20 volt source and we have a current source. Ah, yes. The current supplied by it is 4 ampere. Therefore, let me call this as PA. PA seems confusing, right? I will call this as P1 because PABS is power absorbed. So, let's not confuse. P1 is the power supplied by this source and this power is 20 volt times 4 ampere, 80 watt and P2 is the power that is supplied by IS and the value of this is 5.5 into minus 1 minus 5.5 watt. The total supplied power will be 80 minus 
this is the total supply of work. Let us calculate the total power that is absorbed. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 absorbing elements are there in this circuit which is absorbing power. Let's first take 1.5 ohm resistor. This is a power absorbing element. The power is P3 will be 6 volt into 4 ampere. 24 watt. The second element we can consider is 14 ohm resistor. P4 is 14 volt times 1 ampere. Power is voltage times the current. In that case P3 will be 6 volt into 4 ampere 24 watt. P4 will be 14 volt into 1 ampere which is 14 watt. The next element is this 2 ohm resistor. The 2 ohm resistor absorbs a current of 3 ampere and the voltage across it is 6 volt. So 6 into 3, 18 watt. Next we can consider the 4 ohm resistor. Let us mark this as P6. P6 is the power absorbed by this resistor. The power absorbed is 8 volt times 2 ampere. The next element is this. 2.5 ohm. P7 is the power absorbed by it and it is 2.5 volt times 1 ampere. 2.5 watt. The power absorbed is 74.5 watt. This is the total power absorbed. So in this circuit we can understand that the total power supplied and the total power absorbed are same. Whatever be the circuit which is here, always the law of power conservation is valid. Whatever power is supplied by the source, that power will be absorbed by the resistances that is connected in the circuit. Let us say if we add one more resistor in this path, even if we add one more resistor here, the current that is supplied here divides but the voltage remains the same. Let me say that I am connecting another resistor here. So this won't be 1 ampere. This will be shared among these two resistors based on their resistance values. Therefore the voltage across both of them is going to be the same 14 volt but the current is getting shared. Somehow the power that is getting absorbed will be same as the power that is getting supplied by this source. In whichever circuit you are finding current or voltage, you can just quickly find out the power that is absorbed by that element and any other element which is there in the connected to the circuit and then check for law of power conservation. Thanks for watching. For any more problems on Kirchhoff's current law, check the link in the description. Subscribe to our channel for more videos on the same content. Do let us know your view in the comment section or if you feel like you need to understand a topic in a better way, take a picture of the problem that you are trying to solve and if you feel like you want me to solve in this channel, do let me know, I will solve it for you.